Afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Janelle Burrell is off today. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS and Philly. The return to remote learning comes as COVID cases across our region skyrocket and schools deal with staff shortages. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is at South Philadelphia High School this afternoon. Good afternoon, Alicia. Good afternoon. That's right. We are at South Philadelphia High School. This is one of the schools where parents and students can come to get tech support if they need help for those Chromebooks. As 81 schools look towards virtual learning at least until Friday. After that, the school district will figure out what happens next week. For now, parents, students, and children are scrambling to figure out the temporary switch to virtual. Many students had already returned their Chromebooks after returning to in-person learning and will now have to pick up what they'll need for the next few days after the district's decision to temporarily close nearly seven dozen schools due to COVID-related staffing shortages. Now, some parents are concerned these surprise disruptions will affect the quality of their children's work. We talked to one parent dropping off a student at Masterman School this morning. I'm a little confused about that, you know, because I'm also really worried about what they are learning right now. You know, for example, my daughter was sent to school in, November, in December 20 because she was close to another child, but nobody was teaching her. In a social media post, State Rep Jordan Harris, who represents South Philly, says the district made the right choice in closing buildings, but that it was, quote, done in a completely unacceptable way at the last minute with poor communication to teachers, staff, parents, and students. He goes on to say this was more than likely going to be the case and that the district should have not waited until the 11th hour to announce those closures. We'll be talking to the district and getting feedback from parents. And we'll have more for you starting at 4 p.m. Reporting live from South Philadelphia, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Alicia.